got in the blind here. Just some, some really nice western New York weather right now. As you can see, the snow is blowing in the blind. We're getting some accumulation in the blind. It is cold. It's got to be 25 degrees right now and uh, blowing pretty good. I mean, we got a solid 15 probably mile an hour wind. So I would imagine the wind chills are in the low to, or I mean the upper to mid teens, cold. And it just started snowing pretty good. This is perfect weather for these deer to come out into the food plot. We haven't sat a lot up here in the last, really all of gun season. I think I sat up here one, one or two times, but that's because it really takes a south to southeast wind. You can hunt out with a southwest, but that's not the best. Uh, it takes a good south wind to get in here, and we just haven't had a lot of south winds, but we do today. Nice, gusty southeast wind. It's perfect for this location. And I am, I'm looking over about an acre of standing beans, which there's literally no beans left. I mean, there's probably some on the ground maybe for these deer to kind of scavenge through. Um, but then I'm sitting at, I got about two acres of standing corn a little bit. We brush hog down, but standing corn to my left, there's a lot of corn left. These deer really haven't been hitting the corn that much besides what we have brush hogged. They'll hit it on the ground, but they haven't been eating it a ton on the stock, on the stock. So I think that has split, that switched over to, uh, happening in the in the last few days for sure so i'm interested to see what we what comes out here tonight part of the reason why i came up here is because one of the deer that we've been hunting we call him clark david passed him up last year is a really good we think three-year-old he might have been older last year but he was at least a three-year-old last year and david let him go and he is we he was in here a ton at the beginning of the season but october 27th was our last photo of him and then he was gone david and i really wrote him off we thought somebody shot him because he was in here so much and it was just like a light switch boom he was gone i could have nearly guaranteed you that he was dead but it just shows you how these deer will amaze you because we got a picture of him last night on this food plot at about five o'clock just after legal shooting but anyways close close um definitely he was definitely in here in camera light but a little outside of legal shooting so he was with uh, another decent buck and that was another uh, another decent three-year-old that was up here just right after them at about 5 30 so they were up on this plot feeding last night so hopefully with this wind and this weather in the, the frigid cold temps I wouldn't say frigid, but it's cold. Hopefully we get some deer up in this field early tonight. And hopefully Clark comes back out. That would be unreal because it's been so slow the last three weeks. So, cross your fingers for Clark. That would be so awesome if that deer stepped out tonight.
I am shocked. I don't, I don't know if I'm shocked, I guess, but I feel like I'm shocked that more deer were not out in this food plot tonight on a night like this, cold, snowing, real cold. The only thing I can think of is that they're just not fully interested in this particular food source. That's all I can really think of. Or they're just... I mean, it's possible these deer are just still so pressured that they're, they're going to wait till dark to come out, which is very, very possible too, because a few of these bucks that were on camera last night were they waited till last night to come out so that might just be what they're doing we got a, we got a couple minutes left <laughs> 